Now we need to do something with the wheels for our splitty. I could change them for our wheels, but that's been done before. So what we want to go for is that really cool half moon look, which is a hubcap that goes on the wheel. Problem is with a wheel with this profile, the hubcap sticks out a little bit too far. The only way to counteract that is to make the dish a bit deeper. And that's a process called banding. And behind this door is a guy called Steve who can help me out. Steve has been banding wheels for almost 30 years. Extending the rim sounds quite simple, but it's complex and time consuming. Okay, what's the first job in the process? Sandblaster. who works for Steve, get stuck into the wheel for me. The surface needs to be spot on, and after about half an hour, it's looking good. And now Steve gets the wheel into a jig, trues it up, and then cuts off the rim. Don't try this at home. OK, so you've cut the top of the rim off. Yep. Where are we at? We've now got to fill the gap with a steel band for the uh, outer rim to attach to, which obviously gives you a deeper dish look. Yeah. What would you recommend? I would suggest you went with a two-inch band on the rears and a one-inch band on the front. That's because it's a staggered look. Yeah, to get the staggered look. OK, yeah, let's do that. OK, cool. Steve has the bands pre-cut, but the shaping needs to be done by hand. My hands. So just a nice even motion. Yeah, Steve, just keep it going. Is there any really tips to doing this? Not particularly, just turn the handle. <laughs> After a couple of turns, the metal is circular enough to work with. How's that then, Steve? Jobs are good and Mike. I wouldn't want to do a six inch one. Steve spots the band into place. Once it's secure and he's happy with the position, he adds the old rim. Then it's onto the jig for a seam weld all the way round. Steve cleans up the weld and we get our wheel bag, only two inches wider. <laughs> it's fantastic. All the hard work's done there, is it? Yeah, all done, mate. Yeah, ready for priming now. That's exactly what I was hoping for. See, the half moon isn't going to stick out as far now. Exactly. That's brilliant. It's sitting a lot, lot more. Our wheel takes three coats of paint plus lacquer, and that's a whole day to complete a set of four. Now the wheel's all been painted up, I've got to say, I'm happy with that. Look at that deep dish look. And I just borrowed this off of Steve just to see what the finished article will look like when it goes back onto the bus. And I've got to say, it looks fantastic. This time it was Eddie.